Hey guys, welcome to this YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to animate and create a hamburger menu. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I'm going to post web development tutorials every week, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, so let's get started. First off, I want to create our index.html file. I'm going to use uh, a VS Code extension called Emmet to create my boilerplate. It's a really nice extension. I recommend everybody who uses VS Code to get that extension. Uh, I'm going to create the link tag with the rel style sheet and the file is going to be called styles.css. I'm also going to add a script tag because we're going to have a JavaScript file for this tutorial. And for our actual markup, I want to I want to have a div called menu button. That's a div with a class of menu button. No, actually, let's just call it menu button for short. For short. Uh, inside of this div, we need the um, hamburger bars. So that will be a div with a class of hamburger. So that's it. That's actually all the markup we need for this. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to open this with a live server. That's another great VS Code extension. So now you can see it here in the browser, live and everything. So let's just create the other files that we link to. So that will be styles.css and script.js and let's just jump straight into the styles.css we're going to start off with some global styling we set the the default styling of the browser we're going to have margin zero padding zero and box sizing whoa border box there we go so for the body, we want to have a dark gray background. I want the height to span across the whole um, window. So that's 100 view height. Uh, I display the body as flex and justify the content and align items center. And this is because I want to have the button placed in the center of the screen here. So it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. So there we go, save that. You can see our body background here. Now we just need to, um, now we just need to get our button to appear. So that's gonna be, that is going to be, yeah, we called it menu button. And the styling is going to be again, display flex, justify content center and align items center because just as we placed this button in the center of the body, we want to display the, the bars in the center of the button here. I'm going to make this uh, quite big, just so it's easier for you guys to see. And I'm gonna set the cursor to a pointer, and I'm gonna set a transition effect, and a position relative to this. So now you can see here that we have the pointer effect over the button, which is in the middle here. The reason why we have position relative is because uh, bars um, that are going to be placed at position absolute within this. So then they're going to be positioned relatively to, to this um, element. If we didn't put position relative here, the bars would actually position themselves outside of the, um, the box here and go up in this corner. So we don't want that, we want it to be relative to this box. The box that we can't see. Actually I'm just going to put a border here. One pixel solid white, just so you can see the um, edges of the, um, the box here, or the, the button. So for the bar itself, that's called hamburger. 
it's going to be 80 pixels wide, 7 pixels tall, have a background of white and uh, a transition effect there of about 0, 25 seconds. And a border radius of 10 pixels just so we can have those rounded nice corners instead of those sharp edges. So we only have one element inside of this. As you can see here, we only have one element inside of the button, which is the hamburger bar here. So to be able to get uh, the one over and the one under, we need to use the uh, pseudo classes of before and after. So we can target the hamburger here and target hamburger before and hamburger after. What this will do is it will essentially insert a new elements before and after um, and style it as we specify. So it will go before and after the element that we selected, which is hamburger, which is the middle one here. So when we're doing this, we have to set the content. I uh, just need to be an empty string. Uh, position absolute, which means that we can move them around uh, more easily. It's going to be the same as the hamburger. It's going to be a width of 80 pixels, a height of 7 pixels, background white, and a transition effect that is slightly longer. So this is going to be 0 0.5 seconds, while this up here is 0 0.25 seconds. And again, the border radius of 10 pixels. So when we save this, yeah, you can see we, we still can't see the bars. That's because they're placed absolute. And right, right now, that means that they are laying on top of each other, on top of this other bar. So if you want to actually spread them apart, we have to uh, target them individually and move them. So the first one, the before one, is going to go upwards. So we're going to put it minus 20 pixels on the y-axis. And there we go. So for the other one, we want it to be the after. And we want it to be 20 pixels. So that's 20 pixels downwards. And there we go. There we have our finished base styled hamburger menu. Now we just need to animate it. And to do that, we need to use some JavaScript. But as I said, this is going to be really simple. So don't be afraid, even if you haven't touched JavaScript before. So we're going to start off by making a variable. Uh, that's going to be called is menu open. And it's going to be set to false. Then we need to target the, the button itself, so it's the const menu button. We are going to get it from document.query selector and then the class that we gave it. So that was menu button. Now we have access to this button and we can attach an event listener to it. So we're going to take menu button, add event listener. We're going to listen for a click event. And when we click this, we want this arrow function to run. And what do we want to do when this is clicked? We want to change this menu open to the opposite of what it is. So in this case, it is false it will then be turned to true. True. If it's uh, true, it will be turned to false. So then we can check in an if statement if is menu open. If that is true, we will take the menu button and add a class of open. On the other side, if is menu open is false we want to make we want to remove that class again so that's remove open like that 
So that is actually all the JavaScript we need to make this run. The last thing we need to do is to do the button animation. So now we gave the button a class of open if we click it. I'm actually going to demonstrate this by opening this and inspect it. So in here you can see that we have the button with the class of menu button. If I now click this, you can see that I added the open class. And this is now going to be removed and given to the, um, the element as we click it. So what do you want to do when we click it? We want the middle one, the middle bar to disappear. So then we target the open class and the hamburger class within the open. So this will only be in effect if there's a class of open and a hamburger within. So the middle one will be transparent, uh, which uh, makes it invisible. And um, the top one, we want that to rotate minus 45 degrees. That's the before. And for the after, we want it to go, want it to go actually, yeah, the other direction. So this is gonna create a cross. So now the middle one will disappear and the outer ones will cross. Now I'm actually going to remove the border here. There we go. So that's it for the hamburger menu uh, animation. As a little bonus here, I want to show you guys how you can make a menu as well to, um, to become visible and disappear as you click the, the button. So for that, we only need a div with a class of menu. Inside of this, we can just say, hey, I'm, whoops, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm the menu. There we go. Now you can see that it's here. We want this to disappear and uh, become visible as we click the, the button itself. So we already have the JavaScript here. So we can just target that menu the same way we do with the button here. So const menu equals document query selector. And we want to target the class of the class of menu. In here, we can, the same way we're doing with the button here, we can add a class. So that's menu, adding a class of menu open. Let's call it menu open. And then want to actually remove that too so remove now we have the same thing with the menu as we do with the, um, the menu button so now we just have to style that so we can just say um, menu like that and the menu is going to be color white Opacity zero is going to make it invisible. Transition 0.3 seconds. Transform translate x minus 100 pixels. So now I uh, I moved it 100 pixels to the left. This can become a problem because it, it's now on top of the button, and you see I can't click the button because it's an invisible text there. So what you can do when you uh, encounter that, you can just set the pointer events to none. And then it should not interfere anymore with the button. It's like it's never existed. Um, and then we made a class of menu open, which is when it's active. And for that, we actually want yeah, we want to make the opacity to one, of course, to make it visible again. We want, actually, I'm just going to take these two and copy them down here. 
and I want to slide it back to the right where it's supposed to be. And I want to return the pointer events so we can click the menu. So now it's going to look something like this. So there we go. That's how you can animate a hamburger menu. I hope this helped you guys. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'm going to post uh, front-end development related videos once a week. So um, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.